Good morning, everyone. Travis here with Ridges to Rapids here with our next upgrade for the 97B2500. So, um, as you may or may not know, I've been uh, slowly upgrading the whole solar energy system we got going on in the rig. It originally came with uh, 200 watt uh, solar panels, uh, 200 amp hour AGM battery, um, and a 20 amp energy rover. It was a good system, did the job, but it Every time we took it out, we ran the battery right down to 50%, which is as low as you want to take it. So we really had to kind of monitor our usage. Um, so I wanted a battery that could handle a little more. So I upgraded to the lithium because the lithium you can run all the way down to 20% and it's not going to harm the battery at all. So you're almost getting double the amp hours for the setup. So I got that out in the rig already. Um, ended up buying the Renogy 40 amp rover, which is required for the... Uh, life PO4 batteries so for the lithium so I got that in there currently um, the upgrade I'm going to be doing today is the Renogy one core so I'm gonna throw this thing in um, should be pretty good setup um, give you full full uh, control and access over your whole Renogy system there and oh I've got the got the holes over there but um, so with this, you have to get a hole saw to uh, drill into wherever you're going to install it, but it should be a pretty straightforward, straightforward process. Um, so yeah, let's see how this goes. But for mounting purposes, I think probably right there it's going to end up being the easiest access, best to look at. Uh, could go low, could go high. Don't want. Oh, do I want to stack it up there? A lot of wires going on if I do that. But I would leave that whole area open. Control panel. Yeah, that could actually look alright. Might end up being where I go. Alright, so after removing this, reaching up there. Seems that'll that would work for a mounting point. Gonna drop that straight down into the control panel underneath so that's probably what I'm going to do. So the kit comes with a mounting tablet. So I'm going to put that exactly where I want it. It's got the center point for you to drill. Okay. All right, so my first hole is drilled. Got the template here, pull that out of the way. So exactly what I want. Next is gonna be using that hole saw to punch that all the way through. So I can put my mounting, mounting bracket in. All right, here goes nothing. Part way out. Need a little more battery charge. All right, got that poked out. Let's see if I can save it. Yeah, okay. So, next we'll be getting this mounting bracket in. Perfect size hole there. A couple little retainer screws, and yeah, easy as that to mount. Don't hit the eject button, hit the power button if you're going to vacuum stuff up. 
that's your lesson for the day. So next we're going to do the mounting bracket. If you notice it has a little level in there. That's because it does RV leveling. I'm on a hill right now. I don't feel like moving it, so I'll kind of loosely install this and kind of fine tune it when I'm on flat ground. But for now I'm just going to put this in. should just clip on. Bam. So it's locked into place. So I'll get the wiring. I'll hook it to the back, slide it down the wall, and we'll hook that into the fuse panel next. So all this does, the positive and negative is hooks right into there. There's also USB type C and the COM port. Um, on the rover there's only one COM port so I didn't know if the Bluetooth needed to connect to the rover or if this needed to connect to it. They said you connect the Bluetooth and this will um, sync in with it. This can just sync into the system so you don't need to use this port. I'm going to try to fish this down the wall. get hung up on too much. My electrical system is right down underneath. Dark down there so you probably can't see it. So if worse comes to worse I'll grab the fishing tape and just just feed it down that way. All right so I couldn't find my fish tape so I'll grab some PEX plumbing that I had. Uh, pulled the wire through the side of the window frame, um, taped it to that, finally found a spot where it dropped, and see back there, there's the end of the pipe. So I'm going to try to fish the two wires off that, pull them through, again, forgive the rat's nest, have some stuff going on, and be able to hook that in and give us some power. So I was able to fish that out, there's the end of the pipe, with the power cable still hooked to it, so I'm gonna put the camera down, pull those off, and I think, uh, I think we've got the wires through. All right, just to show you guys what I did with the electrical, again, it was very easy. I had one spot left in my fuse panel, so hot goes up here, screwed that right into place, and then negative right there, that last guy. So that's all I had to do is attach those two, tossed in a fuse, and everything's good good to go there. So just forgot to show you the, the wiring end of it. Alright, we got power. So that turned out pretty good. So we're gonna hook it up to the internet. I'm gonna do this off camera. I'll check back in. Okay, all logged in. It looks like it has an update available, so I'm gonna do that. And overall the process has been pretty straightforward as long as you have a quick way to run your wires and uh, power left on your fuse box. That was my last spot, so I may end up having to do a fuse box up update if I want to add any more stuff in here. All right, guys, so that is in. That was a success. Uh, right now, it is reading the Rover 40 amp charge controller that I got in here. So just put that in recently, like I said, to power that 200 uh, amp hour lithium uh, lie time battery. So I had to make that upgrade to make that function properly because it's got the self-heating function um, for when it gets cold because those lithium batteries can't handle being cold. Um, up on deck next for installs, we have our uh, Renogy 50 amp DC to DC charge controller. So it's going to replace a whole rover system. So it's a pretty cool setup. It's going to be just a few wires. It's going to be able to handle the solar and it's going to be able to handle the alternator charging, which is just going to make this thing just 
so much more user friendly. Um, some things you have to do for that to make that work. I'm going to have to switch the solar panels to parallel from a series. Not too big of a deal. It's just something you have to do to make that work. Uh, luckily, my alternator was making noise, so I had that replaced. Did a high high output alternator to a 250 amp um, Tucson alternator, and that thing um, is going to be more than enough power to charge both the uh, starter battery and the house battery. So the last thing I got to do before I get that project rolling is I have to switch all the wires underneath to uh, four gauge is the recommended. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. It's just going to be a little time consuming to switch all that out. Obviously I'm going to record all that and uh, see how that system turns out. But for now, this this camper van just keeps, uh, keeps getting better and better by the day. So I'm uh, excited to see where we're going from here. So as always, if you guys like what you saw, please like and subscribe. And until next time, happy camping.